thanks and happy new year to everybody out there. Uh, if we go back over the last 30 days, certainly was a very mild stretch of weather across much of the nation. So this orange and red uh, indicating above average temperatures over that last 30 days, which goes back to early December. Now, as we fast forward into mid January, it does look like things for much of the nation will be trending colder. That's what the blue colors indicate. And as that happens, we're going to actually get into a little bit more active weather pattern, nationally speaking, and certainly over the eastern U.S. Look at the heavy uh, reds. That's indicating a lot of precipitation from the southeast to the northeast. Even here through the Ohio and Tennessee Valley, we're getting indications of an uptick in that precipitation potential. So get ready for a pattern change ahead starting this weekend through most of mid-month. It looks like we'll be definitely more active with areas of rain and snow. Uh, for tonight, it looks rather quiet. Temperatures kind of hovering in the upper 20s to lower 30s. The clouds will be with us. And again, a peak at this weekend. Some rain and snow chances on Saturday into Sunday. Temperatures will be uh, in the lower 40s. Overnight lows down around that freezing mark. And our first storm system, again, is located here in the Four Corners region. Some thunderstorms over Texas. And again, the precipitation looks very heavy over the lower Mississippi Valley. But then as that starts to turn north and east, it will bring us that rain and snow chances early as Friday night and into Saturday. But through 7 p.m. Friday, we are looking mostly dry. Until then, again, watching the clouds kind of uh, in and out of the region here, but overall quiet as we round out the week Thursday to Friday. So temperatures tomorrow morning will be into the mid-20s. Uh, northerly winds tomorrow, 10 to 15 miles per hour. And again, we'll be in and out of the clouds, but a very quiet Thursday ahead. Uh, those temperatures will be topping out near that 40 degree mark. I think we'll fall just short of that. Friday is still a quiet day, mid 40s for those daytime highs. First storm system with rain and snow this weekend, but a larger storm uh, impacts us around midweek next week with more rain and snow.